everyone. If you followed the last snake rigging tutorial, um, you might still have some questions like how to create a master control or maybe you want the snake to animate going up a tree or other things I've seen in the comments so I decided to make a YouTube video for it. Um, so this is where we last left off. We have the snake rigged. Um, you can do all that fun stuff and then you can get into the slither controls. Wait, come on. There we go. You can change some of the stuff. Offset. It looks like it's all that good stuff. Well, so let's say you want to move the entire snake forward, but you want to bring these controls with you, you're going to need to make a master control. And that's pretty simple. You can just create a circle, uh, a NURBS curve circle actually. Um, make it a little bigger and just for visual sake. There we go. Um, let's do the do the things like deleting the history and then freezing the transformations. Those are just quick buttons in 2018, my 2018. So now when we look at it, it's all good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to name this master control and we will throw all of these under with a middle mouse drag um, and we'll also middle mouse drag the slither control in there um, now if you move this the entire snake will move yay um, let's test some slithering see if that moves with it I mean I know it does but just for your sake um, we shall test it and set key go to 24 then I'll just go negative 5 set key and we can come back here, set key by pressing S. Oh wait, go to 24, move this forward, press S. And then let's see if it all worked. Hey. Alrighty. So it was a little laggy due to my recording software, but... Um, yeah, it worked. Now, let's say you wanted to animate a snake circling around a tree and climbing it, or spiraling up a tree. Um, I got a comment recently asking on how to do that, which inspired me to create this video. Um, let's get the slither control back in its reset position. And we can um, yeah that won't that won't affect it so first I'm going to create a cylinder bring it up a little bit make it go out make it make it look like a tree trunk or a pole or anything that you're trying to animate around and then I'm going to make this object a live surface and then I will create an EP curve and I will go around the object so start from there, there just keep on circling Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, let's turn off live surface and let's hide this bad boy. 
Alright, so you want your snake to go animate up this. Well, um, you can do that by selecting on just the geometry of the snake, which should, which is right there, and then selecting the curve, and in the animation tab, or rigging tab, we can go to rigging, and if you do the constraint option, and do motion paths, attach to motion path, let's reset the settings, so if you look at the snake's head, it's on the z-axis, so that is going to be the front axis, and the y-axis is always going to be the up axis, or most of the time, if not always, um, and then we will attach. Oh yeah, I forgot to unlock the snake attributes, so we'll also unlock those real fast. Let me select my snake, edit, channel control, locked, select all the locked attributes and move them. Alright, should work now. Let's constrain motion path, attach to motion path, still Z, still Y, attach. Alright, so that's not perfect. It definitely isn't what you want, but um, we can fix that by selecting on the the snake mesh, going to constrain, motion pass, and then flow object. So if I reset the settings, you see it's just like that, but when you check on curve, it gives you these, and just do apply flow and yeah now it looks pretty broken it's quite disgusting but if you go into the attribute editor you click on FFD1 oh wait nope you want to go to the FFD1 lattice shape and you can up the divisions to make it very smooth so let's just stick with 60 and then this is, wait, come on, where is it at? Okay, so when we do that, you see how the tail breaks. There's a way to fix that. Just give me one second. So outside lattice, we'll do all. All will keep that tail in check, so. Now. So now without with showing nothing and then showing just polygons, you can see that the snake goes up. Alright, I hope this helped guys, but that's it for now.